I believe that today is the day that God is going to begin to restore your troubled marriage or relationship. That this is the marriage prayer that's going to move mountains. The mountains that are standing in your way and that's going to crush the works of the devil that have been put in place to destroy your family. In just a moment, I'm going to pray for all those who will watch this video and who will agree with me for the restoration of their marriages in Jesus' name. And then I'm going to ask you to do something as an act of faith that will change everything. You see, Jesus said in Matthew eleven twenty four 24 that whatever you ask in prayer, believe you have received it and it will be yours. You have to act in faith as if you've already received that which you've asked for. And then the answer will come. This goes along with the teaching of James, that faith without works is dead. Read 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verses 1 through 23, and notice how after praying, Jehoshaphat moves on his faith. His prayers turn to praise and thanksgiving, and it was at that moment that the Lord answered his prayer. It was at that moment when he had acted in faith as if his prayers were answered. In chapter 6 of Joshua, we learn that the Israelites were led by Joshua into the land of God, that God had promised them. And after crossing the, jo the Jordan River, they were told to conquer the land called Canaan. Now Jericho was the first city to be taken for the Lord. And Joshua was instructed to march around the walled city once a day for six days straight. And then another time on the seventh day. And on the seventh day, they were told to blow their horns and shout. And when they did, God was faithful to his promise and the walls fell. Now, why would God have asked them to do this when he could have easily given them victory otherwise? It was a demonstration of faith. It was a test of obedience. Read the Gospels. Notice Jesus always required people to do something to prove their faith. In John chapter 9, he put mud on the blind man's eyes, and then he told him to go wash in the pool. Now, why would he do that? It was an act of faith. It was a demonstration of faith. Jesus almost always required people to act on their faith. What if Peter had not acted in, in faith and actually stepped out of the boat? He didn't know if Jesus would hold him up until he acted in faith. George Mueller said, Faith is the assurance that the thing which God has said in his word is true and that God will act according to what he has said in his word. Faith is not a matter of impressions, nor of probabilities, nor even of appearances. I remember being with my six-year-old boy at the park years ago, and we called it the park with the big rock, and he climbed high onto this rock that was at least six, seven feet high, and he scooted over the edge and stood up and said, Daddy, catch me. Without hesitation, he jumped. I wasn't even ready yet, but thank goodness I caught him. In fact, it threw my shoulder out from then on, but I did catch him. He asked me to catch him, and he believed I would, so he jumped. No wonder God tells us that unless we become like little children, we will never enter the kingdom of God. Children have faith. Could it be that your prayers are not being answered because you are not acting in faith? Without works, faith is dead. Faith is evidence of that which we hope for and action is evidence that our faith is real okay let us let us pray and then i'm going to ask you to do something as an act of faith as a demonstration of faith to activate the power of god 
in response to this marriage prayer. Father, I give you honor and glory and praise. I come before you in the name and by the authority of Jesus, with my friend who's watching this, and all who may watch this in the future. We're asking you, Lord, for a miracle, a miracle of marriage restoration. And we know that divorce is never your plan, and that you have the power to make all things new again. Lord God, we pray for strength, faith, and love to overflow in our lives, allowing us, with your help, to restore the love and life to this marriage. We believe you're going to do what you have promised in your word. And oh God, you have promised that when we pray according to your will, with faith, that you will hear from heaven and that it will be done. In Malachi 2.16, your word says that you hate divorce. And therefore, we know that divorce is never your will. It's never in your perfect plan. We also trust that you would not want your people to live in loveless or abusive marriages. And so that we ask that you restore this marriage and change the heart of the spouse. Restore the love that they once knew in Jesus' name. And we declare that Satan has no power over this marriage in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. May you receive all glory and honor and praise. In the name of Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Now, if you pray that prayer with me, it's critical now that you act in faith, trusting God to move on your behalf. We can't just pray and do nothing. We must pray and then do all we can. Ask God to show you and guide you. What can you do? Here are some ideas. Um, maybe you could write your spouse a handwritten letter. Pour your heart out to them. Be transparent. Be vulnerable. Don't say anything about what they've done or make accusations or anything like that. Just share your heart. Don't ask anything of them. Don't beg them to come back. Just share your heart and love. Talk about, maybe talk about some memories that are special to you. After you've written that letter, pray over it for a few days, laying your hands on it and asking God to bless it in Jesus' name. Even better yet, fast while you pray over it for at least, you know, for a day, from sunrise to sunset. If you're still living with your spouse, Start loving your spouse in real ways without asking anything in return. Don't tell them you love them. Do small acts of loving kindness in ways that make their life easier. Show them you love them. Bring home dinner from their favorite restaurant. Do the dishes, if that's something they normally do. Do the household chores that they would normally do, but don't say anything. If they ask, just say, I thought you might like a break today, and I wanted to show you that I love you. If they become angry and accuse you of trying to manipulate them or something like that, don't argue. Just keep loving them, asking nothing in return. Remember, true love isn't about words. Love does. Love acts. And as you do these loving acts of kindness, pray that God would bless them for the restoration of your marriage or your relationship. And know that I will continue praying for you. And then I want you to come back here and tell us what God has done for you in the comments. Please subscribe and like this video so that others will find it and be blessed as well. That they will receive this prayer in their lives. May the grace of Jesus be with you. Amen.